guys welcome once again thanks for watching i'm going to take you on my trip to madrid uh, spain and you can see all of the activities that i did during that time The first thing I did when landing in Madrid was exploring the city and I noticed there were some amazing street artists. Madrid is a vibrant city and I already knew I wasn't going to be able to cover most of the attractions so the best solution for me was to book a city tour and I did it with Big Bus Madrid. I love history, so the Arco de la Victoria that you just saw was built during uh, the Spanish Civil War and it was done by Francisco Franco to commemorate the victory of the Francois troops in um, the 1936 Battle of Ciudad. We drove along the Royal Palace of Madrid, it's called the Palacio Real, and it's the official residence of the Spanish royal family, and um, nowadays it's only used for state ceremonies. The Masanares Rifline uh, Park is definitely a spot to check out if you love uh, walking, exploring, greenery. Uh, it has gorgeous views. The tour also took us uh, to the monument of Miguel de Cervantes. He is one of the most important and celebrated figures in Spanish literature. And he is best known for uh, being the author of Don Quixote. We also rode across the Gran Vía. Well, you spell it as Gran Vía, but you um, pronounce the Vía like a B. And it's one of the most famous streets in Madrid. So what can you see on the streets? A lot. For the people who love shopping, that is definitely the street you need to walk in. You can find Broadway, all kinds of things. But you can also find the Telefonica building that dates back to 1930. And it was once of Europe's tallest buildings, as well as being the location of the first transatlantic telephone call from Spain. Good food and drinks is also part of the Gran Vía experience. I had the most delicious meal at the oven and mozzarella bar on the Gran Vía. 55. Slight correction, it's actually Gran Vía 6. Next on our stop was the Bank of Spain. And the building is known from the Netflix series La Casa de Papel. Something I still uh, want to mention is that uh, the Gambia has some cool buildings uh, with um, unique sculptures. Uh, one of those buildings is uh, near the Gambia 32 and 31. Uh, the buildings are in front of each other and on top of the building you can see a historical character, or not a historical, a mythical character shooting arrows and then uh, the other uh, part of the street you can see that those arrows have touched the ground and that's so cool to see. Anywho, going back to the Bank of Spain, I don't believe there are tours that you can take, it's still a functioning building. Uh, the main role of the Bank of Spain is uh, the responsibility for the supervision of the Spanish banking system and the other financial intermediaries operating in Spain. So now, there's nothing to see but you can enjoy the architecture. There's so much interesting things to do in Madrid. Uh, one of the things on my list was the chocolate and churros um, segue tour, but I didn't do it. I was so lucky that they had churros in the hotel I was staying in. One of the beautiful buildings in Madrid is the Iglesia, the church, the San Manuel y San Benito. Uh, it's a great example of Byzantinian uh, art and architecture um, that was, of course, famous in the eastern part of Europe. And um, yeah, this uh, church is built across the Ritero, that's the biggest park. In Madrid, uh, the church was, was built in the 1900s, 
with the dome and it is one of the most iconic sites in Madrid. If you visit Madrid then one of the things activities to do is going to a bullfighting ring. Uh, the one you're seeing is called Las Ventas and you can go to bullfightings from March until October. I didn't go. This isn't the only iconic street in Madrid. We also have the Calle de Alcala. It's amongst the longest streets and it starts at the Puerta del Sol in the center and it goes on about 11 kilometers. The street leads to the city called Alcala de Henares, the birthplace of Miguel de Cervantes. Hello guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Like, share and subscribe. Of this square, the monument that references the discovery of the Americans. The first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the ninth one, the tenth one, the eleventh one, the twelfth one, the thirteenth one, the fourteenth one, the fifteenth one, the sixteenth one, the seventeenth one, the eighteenth one, the nineteenth one, the twentieth one, the twenty-first one, the twenty-second one, the twenty-third one